Do you want to remove an object from your picture? You can use the spot healing brush tool. It might take care of some wanted spots, marks, or small objects in your image. Photoshop will select and replace pixels from another part of your image to blend in seamlessly. With various tools for vision flaws, the spot healing brush tool is effective for removing small objects and blemishes. Let's get started. Okay, let's start by removing the necklace. First, I will zoom in on the picture and slowly select the necklace using the spot healing brush. You can adjust the brush size depending on the size of the object you are removing. After removing the necklace, you might see the edges aren't smooth. So, we'll use the clone stamp tool to fix the colors and make it blend in better. To use the clone stamp tool, first, click Alt to select the color you want to clone. Then, just brush over the area you want to color. Make sure to choose the right color so that the results look natural. Next, I'll tidy up some messy hair. The steps are similar to using the Alt key to select your desired color. Here, I've chosen the background color, then just brush over the messy parts to remove them. And now, I'll use the spot healing brush tool to remove the earrings. I'll make the brush smaller and carefully select the earrings. And they're gone! And next, I'll remove her eye bags using the clone stamp tool to improve her look. I'll pick a lighter color from here and gently brush over the eye bags until they blend in naturally. Now, the necklace, earrings, string hair, and eye bags are gone. But if you want to smooth out her face and reduce wrinkles, here's a little extra. First, select her face, then duplicate the layer, and change it to vivid light. Then, you go to Image, Adjustments, and Invert. Now, apply a Gaussian blur filter with a radius of 3.4. Make sure you have selected both layer 1 and layer 1 copy before merging them. Merge the layers. Adjust the hue. Set the saturation to minus 100. And in for the gate, you can choose overlay or soft light blending mode. I'll go with soft light. And then I'll lower the opacity. And voila, her face looks smoother. And that's how you use the spot telling brush tool in Photoshop. For the best result, just make sure your brush is bigger than the spot you want to remove. This way, Photoshop can copy nearby parts of the image to cover it up. With the spot healing brush, you can simply click and drag over the area you want to fix. If you like this video, remember to give us a like, comment down below for the questions, and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials. Have anything?